Hello. This video is about another form of emotional abuse called withholding. And it is considered by some to be one of the most toxic forms of emotional abuse because it is subtle and makes the victim feel as if there is no way that they can fight what's happening. So if you have someone in your life who makes you feel as if you have little or no value to them, who tends to ignore what you say and doesn't engage with you in a normal style that they do with other people, tends to give you the silent treatment and hold back emotional connection or reaction, there's good chance that you are dealing with withholding. Most people hear withholding and think, oh, that's someone who refuses to give their partner sex until they get what they want, or to punish them for not doing something that was desired. And that is a form of withholding, but this actually is more far reaching. It is refusing to engage in affection or intimacy, yes, but it is also about withholding normal life privileges by someone to control or domineer another, and it is also by refusing to allow authentic communication. There are a lot of ways that this can manifest. It can be, say that co-workers have been assigned to work on a project together. They each have their own portions, but there is a certain common denominator where they all need to share with each other to do their jobs properly. And one co-worker decides to withhold pertinent information so that another co-worker looks incompetent to the boss. It can be a spouse who asserts their dominance or control over their partner by restricting the times or even the ability to communicate by phone or in person with other members of the family or with their friends or maybe keeps control over the car keys so that their partner can only go somewhere with their permission. It can be the partner who doesn't acknowledge your words when you're having a conversation, acts as if they really are not registering anything that you're saying and that is compounded in damage when they do that in front of other people. It is the friend who should be happy to share in your excitement when you are letting them know of something that is of importance to you, but instead acts as if it's no big deal. It is the person who lets you know that they have seen a message you have sent them but chooses not to reply, perhaps to a certain schedule that they have established in their mind so that you begin to wonder why they are not seeing you as important enough to respond to. Now on this one, I have to make it clear, we're not talking about someone that is not communicating because they have an avoidant attachment style. That's a whole different thing. This is someone who intends to cause anxiety and doubt in the other person by not responding in a timely manner. Similar to gaslighting, this withholding makes the victim feel like they're isolated, are ignored, and don't have any control over how they can deal with this. It's damaging because the victim can't do anything to stop it. Their only hope to get out of the anxiety that this causes them is to leave the situation for the abuser. 
because the fact is, we can't force another person to do anything. We can't make them hear us. We can't make them acknowledge our importance in their life. To a victim who feels trapped because of love or perhaps financial circumstances in a relationship with someone who withholds every instance feels like they're being told you don't deserve to be treated well. Now, if this is happening to you, please know this is false. You don't deserve to be given the silent treatment. You don't deserve to be limited to your access to your friends and your family. You don't deserve to be treated like a child. And the encouragement here is that if you are enduring this kind of withholding abuse, the best way and maybe the only way to deal with it is to remove yourself from the person or the relationship sooner rather than later because the pattern has been established. You don't want to bust your ass trying to prove that you deserve attention. You don't want to go to great lengths to prove that you are worthy of the privileges they may be withholding or of the praise of a friend when you have shared an accomplishment of your own. You don't want to try to prove yourself because your worth really has nothing to do with this. This is all about the person wanting to control you and show you that they are boss in the situation. Now it could be that you've tried to talk to people about what's going on in your life and they're telling you that you're overreacting, it's not that big of a deal, but they have no idea what you are dealing with. So don't let that dissuade you from taking action. Unless someone walks in your shoes and knows what you are experiencing, they can't know what you're feeling. You do deserve happiness. Don't let anyone tell you that you don't. If you are unsure about whether you should stay or you should go, talk to a friend or a counselor to get their input on it because you're on shaky ground and there's no wonder that you are considering what you've been going through. Even if you're not sure that you can follow through with leaving entirely, consider a separation, maybe just a few days away, where you're out from under the influence that has been exerted. That will help you think more clearly and feel more sturdy, I guess, in your decision. No one deserves to be controlled or manipulated by another. We are individuals with free will. We can run our own lives without guilt. It's unfortunate that there are people that think they should have a say in how we conduct our lives but it happens. Just know that there is support out there for you. If you are realizing now that you're in a situation that is not respectful of you and not allowing you the freedom that we are all meant to have.